Hello, my beautiful twin flames. How are you guys? I hope everyone is great. Happy Easter to everybody who celebrated Easter over the weekend. I hope you guys had a really nice weekend. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Molly. I am the Happy Soul Coach. I am an intuitive tarot card reader, also psychic medium. Today I'm going to be doing a collective reading for the twin flames. Um, we're going to see what's happening with this uh, energy right now. Again, I've been channeling a lot from my guides about death and rebirth and obviously we you know just um for those again who celebrate easter we just celebrated the resurrection of jesus and so there's a lot of that energy coming through and so beautiful on the bottom of the deck guys is the ace of pentacles okay so i do feel like there's a lot of new bright energy coming in um in the collective right now okay so sort of like letting go releasing from the past and bringing forth this beautiful light energy okay i know for me i've been feeling um very light uh, really positive. I had a great weekend with my family. I feel very refreshed. Um, and I just feel like there's, again, there's just this new energy coming in. So we're going to check into that. Thank you to everybody who's booked personal readings with me, guys. My readings right now through April 8th are 30% off. Uh, so you have to book by April 8th. The prices will go up after that. I have all different kinds of readings, so definitely check that out in the description box below. I am getting really busy, so I would highly suggest if you guys want to do a personal reading, go ahead and book it as soon as you can. I will be taking some time off next week as well. Uh, so again, if you guys want to get in a personal reading, definitely go ahead and book it now. Thank you to everyone who's become members of the channel. You guys are awesome. I do post um, extra content for our members, and my Platinum members get free access to all of my extended readings, plus extra content. So very cool. Um, and I think that's it for announcements. I don't have too many announcements today. Just uh, the sale on my readings, which will last through the 8th. Um, and again, let's go ahead and get into the reading today. Um, thank you to every, oh yeah, that was it. Sorry. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. You guys are amazing. I hit 10,000, uh, while I was in Sedona a week and a half ago. Um, thank you guys so, so, so much. It means the world to me to have you as a subscriber on the channel. So if you haven't yet, would love to have you here like a big family. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. You'll be notified whenever I post new videos. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. If this reading is resonating with you, please like, leave me a comment below. I love to read through all of your comments. I don't have time to respond to everybody, but I do love to read through everything. I just want to call in my spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters, five Dean above. Please let me be a clear channel for the collective today. Please guide us to the answers that we need to know. What do the twins need to know right now? Let's find out. Ooh, got heat on the bottom of the foot. Um, okay, they're saying uh, the divine masculine. Okay, they're saying the divine masculine right now is trying to simplify his life. Okay, he's trying to simplify his life. He's moving forward. He's taking steps forward to simplify his life. Okay, so that was the message that just came through. Thank you so much. Um, let's find out what the overall energy is, please. Okay, there's a Seven of Swords. Very interesting that this is the first card out. The Seven of Swords, they were also saying, like, again, he's been running. He's been running for a while, right? The reason I got heat on the bottom of my foot is because he's now switching gears. He's switching gears. He's not running away from the Divine Feminine. Now he's running towards the Divine Feminine. Yeah, look at the Six of Swords. God, that's so crazy. I was literally channeling these two cards coming out and then they came out, right? So again, it's moving out of the Seven of Swords energy, running away from the Divine Feminine, moving into the Six of Swords energy and moving towards the Divine Feminine, moving into smoother waters. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, beautiful wishes coming true. Um, I'm getting actually like something's tugging on my left ear. So communication is coming in real soon. We're going to check about that too. Yeah, the King of Cups. Beautiful. And the Magician. Oh, I love this. Okay. So I feel like, again, Divine Feminine, you've sort of been a student, right? You've been learning about the Twin Flame journey. Your Divine Masculine is also now starting to be awakened. This is another thing that I've been channeling that's been coming through really, really strongly. Um, again, it's it's collecting this old energy and letting it go, releasing it so that you can be in the King of Cups energy, this very stable, very compassionate, um, you know, all loving energy, right? Uh, unconditional love is what we talk about in the Twin Flame journey. Now, the fact that we have the magician out here, this is you becoming the master divine feminine, okay? Now, let me clarify, okay? Once 
twins come into union, the work is not finished, okay? So there's always going to be work. Relationships are always going to be work, okay? But again, it's so that you can come together to heal each other, to work together, to release, you know, the, the energies that no longer serve, right? So again, it's Divine Feminine. You've been working towards mastery, okay? That's the magician. You've been working towards this place of, you know, again, this wisdom of, the divine connection. Um, you've been working, you've been mastering your emotions. Okay. And so the divine masculine is being, oh, and I just got heat right here on my arm. Oh my gosh, spirit. Thank you. I've <laughs> got like all over me today. <laughs> um, so again, divine feminine, you've been moving the divine masculine towards the light too. Okay. So that's what happens. Divine feminine, when you are in your light body, when you are being the lighthouse, you are to, you are literally drawing the divine masculine back to you. And I'm feeling this energy very, very much. He's done a pivot. <laughs> He's done a pivot. He's turned around. He's now running towards you, divine feminine. Okay. All right. Let's find out about our divine masculine. Yeah, there's the three of wands. He's been, he's been watching you, Divine Feminine. He's been watching you. He's been waiting for the right moment to come forward. Yeah. He's been very tied up. Eight of Swords. He's been very tied up with a lot of things that have been happening in his life, but he's clearing all of those things out now. Ten of Pentacles. Ha! Ah, the devil. That card flew out. And the Nine of Swords. Okay, Divine Masculine again. We're seeing a very conflicting energy here because right in the middle of the energy is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So it's this beautiful family life, right? But yet we have the Eight of Swords, the Devil, and the Nine of Swords. So this Divine Masculine has been involved in situations that um, have been a very, very low vibrational energy for him. Let's go ahead and clarify. What is the Devil about, please? The Okay, so we've got the Three of Pentacles and we've got the Seven of Cups. So... There may have been a lot of drinking. There may have been, um, again, just kind of going down a bad path, right? In terms of like letting himself go, you know, surrounding himself with people that don't serve his highest good. Uh, this can also be work situations because the three of pentacles represents work, okay? This has caused him a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights, feeling very trapped in situations. But the good news is, is that, again, Divine Feminine, you're that ten of pentacles energy. You're that light. You're that beautiful spirit that he is seeing from the distance. He's seeing that from the shore, like the lighthouse, right? So again, Divine Feminine, keep holding that light up because your Divine Masculine is ridding of these toxic energies that have been really holding him back, okay? And again, we've got the Devil here too. The Devil represents Capricorn. So for some of you, if your Divine Masculine is a Capricorn, that could be a specific message for you. All right, let's find out about the Divine Feminine, please. Where is her energy? Two of Swords, Six of Pentacles, wow, beautiful, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Wands, man, Divine Feminine, you're rocking it, girlfriend, I love it, the Two of Swords means, again, being at peace, right, so I feel that this to me is you're at peace right now. Again, I'm, I was sensing that. Remember that light body, six of pentacles, a very balanced energy. You're giving, um, you're giving to others, but you're also receiving. So you're in a very balanced energy, right? Which is amazing because that's the energy we need to be to get into union. Page of pentacles. Um, lots of new things coming in for you, divine feminine. Lots of good luck. Um, I feel like you may be receiving small, you know, again, unexpected money, uh, but small amounts, nothing crazy, but small amounts. And you're just like, wow, this is so awesome. And so the more that you're putting that energy out into the universe, the more that you're actually receiving back. We've got the Ace of Cups. This is so beautiful. You are focusing on your self-love, Divine Feminine. You are filling up your cup, okay? King of Wands, you're taking inspired action towards your dreams right now. And this is huge. And again, a lot of you, a lot of my personal reading clients, you guys have all, like so many of you have told me I'm starting to learn how to read tarot. I'm starting to learn how to do Reiki. I'm starting to learn, you know, um, how to do healings and uh, channel. And it's so amazing to hear this. And I am so excited. And I literally uh, the collective needs as many healers, as many light workers as possible. OK, so for those of you that are listening to this, that maybe haven't taken that next step towards your path, towards your journey, towards your soul journey, 
Spirit is saying, take it now. For a lot of you, you're already here, okay? You're taking that inspired action, very King of Wands energy. You're filling up your cup, but you're also giving back to others, the Six of Pentacles, right? And this is where you need to be to be in union with your Divine Masculine. Divine Feminines are supposed to get on their journey, right? What are you here to do, Divine Feminine? Ask your guides to help. All right, let's find out about communication coming in because I do feel like communication is coming in very soon. Okay, we've got the five of pentacles. Breaking the silence. There's the queen of cups. Uh, they're showing me, yeah, there's the hierophant. The three of pentacles, yeah. That makes sense. And the star card, beautiful. So again, Star card represents wishes coming true, right? A very magical, magical card. In the middle, we have the Hierophant, okay? So it's like Divine Feminine, you hold the keys to, you've got to unlock the door for the Divine Masculine to come forward. That's what they're showing me here, right? We're getting out of this Five of Pentacles energy, okay? Like winter is over. <laughs> Sound like Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. No, winter is over, okay? Winter is over. We are now in the spring, um... Again, this star card represents healing. It represents wishes coming true. We are moving out of this five of pentacles energy. Um, I do feel like, again, there's a lot of 5D communication coming through here with the Hierophant. I do feel like there's a lot of... Um, some of you that work with your Divine Masculine will hear from your Divine Masculine through work. A lot of you are going to be getting 5D communication right now. This could be, um, again, telepathy. Are you guys doing your meditations to connect with spirit? By the way, I'm coming out with um, a meditation here soon. I don't know when I'm going to be able to record it um, to help you connect with your twin flame. I'm so excited about that. Again, I've been in creative mode. I have a lot of really good things coming down, down the pipeline for you guys. I'm super, super excited. Again, I'm so busy. I don't know when I'm going to actually get to it, but just know that that is coming. For now, if you, if you um, look up meditations to connect with your twin flame on YouTube, you will find a lot. Uh, and this is a way for you to connect with them on the fifth dimension, okay? Because there's a lot of 5D communication coming in. For a lot of you, it's going to be three of pentacles. But what I'm seeing here, they were showing me this cup, this queen of cups. She's got this cup, right? It's almost like a genie lantern, okay? So, you know, again, how do we manifest, right? We make that wish as, and then act as if it's already happened, right? Wishing upon a star, wishing upon, you know, whatever, uh, and that wish is going to come true. So if you want communication, Divine Feminine, you've got to manifest it because right now you're in a very big magician, manifesting King of Wands, taking inspired action to make things happen. You're going to manifest this. I see three to five weeks for communication for a lot of you. Some of you, it is going to take a little bit longer. I'm seeing, yeah, the month of May is going to be very significant for communication for a lot of you. Some of you, it's going to be coming through work. A lot of you, it's going to be coming through fifth dimension communication. Let's go ahead and find out about union now. We'll pull some oracle cards. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Ten of cups. Nine of pentacles. Knight of wands. The sun. Oh, my God. Could that be any more beautiful? Look at how this energy is going. Okay, we've got the five of swords, though. So there's, what's this conflict? What's this conflict about? So we have the Knight of Wands here, the Nine of Pentacles. Again, I feel like, let's let's go ahead and start clarifying this. What's the Knight of Wands about when we're talking about union? Ah, and we got the devil. Imagine that. It's lust. Lust. So very interesting that we have the Knight of Wands who tends to be the player of the, uh, of the deck. This says lust, but that's actually the strength card. I think that's the strength card. Hold on a minute. This is a newer deck for me, but I feel like, yeah, no, that's, that's actually the strength card, but I don't know why it's so crazy that this says lust here. Okay. So very, very interesting that we're kind of, again, in this energy of, all right, this, what's this player energy that's coming through? What's up, Divine Masculine? And we have the Nine of Pentacles too, okay? The Eight of Discs, so prudent. So, all right, so that makes sense. So he's working on clearing out this player energy. For some of you, there may have been a karmic situation, right? Where it's, again, it was a very lustful situation. It was not, it was not love. It was not pure light. It was 
darkness. It was lust. It was, you know, again, you kind of feel like the seven deadly sins, right? Like that was this sort of karmic relationship that's moving its way out right now. Because again, we've got the Ten of Cups, the sun, which is, again, moving towards the light, right? Nine of Pentacles. This is because Divine Feminine, you've gotten on your soul's journey. You've gotten on your mission. You've built things on your own. And now it's time to bring the Divine Masculine home. What is the Five of Swords about, please? Okay, there's the devil, all right? Oh, God, it's so crazy how I'm like, I'm just channeling, like, I'm like, is that the devil? No, that's the strength card. Uh, but it's interesting that it's called lust in this deck. And so, again, there was a lot of, he, the divine masculine was very conflicted. He was like, again, going to the dark side, right? But he has fought this off. He has fought this off because the light is winning, okay? The darkness cannot win. The darkness cannot win. I know sometimes it feels like it is, but trust me when I tell you, it cannot win, okay? Divine Feminine, you are the light. Let's get a message from your DM. This is my deck, a message from your twin. You can purchase it in the description box below if you guys are interested in that. Oh, yeah, look it. I am coming home to you. Yep. Yep exactly what we were channeling he is coming home because you are the light divine feminine you're my unicorn this card has been coming out in like almost every reading so for some of you the unicorns are significant that is a message coming into you dm wants you to know i'm sorry i've been distant so again look out for those messages on the fifth dimension yeah recognition and reward again you are going to be rewarded for all of your hard work divine feminine remember i said you're manifesting you have like Little things coming into you, little amounts of money, little wins, okay, and different um, different um, respects, different wins coming in. You're being rewarded for staying in the light. Consultant expert says more information is needed to contact someone with expertise in this area, okay? So again, for some of you, um, this may be, you know, you want more knowledge about the twin flame situation or you want to go deeper into your healing, okay? This is, and again, this could also be for some projects that you may be starting because you're in that king of wands energy, okay? You don't have to do it alone, okay? And again, even if you want um, an easy way to help, with anything, just call upon your spirit team. Call upon your guides. All right, look, I got self-employment. Okay, so for some of you, you may be considering going and being self-employed. You may be considering having your own businesses. I'm seeing that very much up here. Maybe even businesses in your spiritual and the spiritual uh, aspect. So again, this is spirit saying, this is the time. This is the time. If you are questioning anything, this is the time to go and do that. It is safe for you to love. Look where that card landed. Landed right on top of the karmic situation and the divine masculine being a player, okay? So again, they want you to know it's safe for you to love. You've got to forgive this energy. He's moving out of it. Make sure you're keeping your mind open and clear. Yeah, look at there's engagement. Interesting that this came out because we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. We have the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck. Those are all marriage cards. Okay, guys. So for some of you, you're going to be getting engaged by the end of the year. The romantic feelings have not died between you and your twin. Absolutely beautiful. All right. I'm going to pull one last card. I'm going to pull from my Animal Spirit deck. I love to end my readings with this. What advice do you have for the Divine Feminine, please? We've got two. Amazing, 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 amazing. Okay, look at this. We've got the snake, which is time to heal, and this and the crow spirit co-create with spirit. So again, what are you doing, divine feminine? Are you getting on your mission? Right? Are you practicing those healings? And I was sensing that here too. Go deeper into your healing, and that is also going to help you co-create with spirit because they're going to be sending you so many messages. Um, you know, and they're going to be putting you on the right path for you to be able to co-create with spirit. Guys, I'm sending you so much love. I'm like, please let me know how this reading resonates. I am so excited. This is such a beautiful energy. Um, again, Divine Feminine, you are the light at the end of that like dark tunnel. Um, and you are calling your Divine Masculine uh, home to you just like the lighthouse. I love it. I love it. If you guys want to book a personal reading, all the info is below. Sending you love and light. Namaste.